Hey guys, I'm Alex from Sanzu Fabrications, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I made the inner belt portion for my Marth cosplay series. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe. I knew my belt was going to have to carry the full weight of Marth's sword, so I opted not to make it. I didn't want it to rip and come apart while I was wearing it so I found a brown leather belt to use instead. I still had to make the inner portion of the belt that sits against the tunic, though. I started off with a quick sketch of the belt. I measured my waist and added 6 inches to each side of it. I also estimated the width of the belt, with the expectation that I'd have to make it smaller if it didn't look right. I didn't have to buy any fabric for this part because I had several yards of brown broadcloth, brown suede, and heavy-duty linen left over from a project a few years back. I measured the belt and the belt loops onto the linen. Don't worry about the floral design. The linen will be hidden on the inside of the garment to add structure. I then traced the linen pieces onto the suede. The suede was going to be used to add texture to the belt loops, the inside of the belt, and a thin trim to the top and bottom. Finally, I traced the main section of the belt onto the brown broadcloth and cut it out. With all the pieces ready, I started to sew everything together. First, I attached the suede lining to the linen. For the belt loops, I folded in the edges of the suede around the linen to hide the raw edges. If I'm not wearing the belt, you can still see some of the patterned linen on the inside, but honestly, no one will be able to tell. I folded in the raw edges of the top and bottom borders of the suede that would go on the front of the belt. I then measured where the sides of the belt would be so I could attach the belt loops. With the belt loops pinned in place, I stitched the borders and the belt loops onto the broadcloth. I chose to use broadcloth so there would be some variation in texture between the different layers of the belt, just to make it a little more visually interesting. With the front and back of the belt ready, I placed the two pieces together and sewed up the top and bottom to make a tube. I then turned the whole thing inside out and ironed the seams to make it flat. By the way, I don't think you're supposed to iron suede. That or the fabric I was using wasn't actually suede because my fabric melted slightly under the iron. I didn't really mind though because I thought it looked a little more like leather afterwards. After everything was flat, I folded in the ends and sewed them shut. My original hunch was right. When I tried on the belt, it was way too wide, and it looked like a poor man's corset. I fixed this by folding the top and bottom of the belt over and top stitching the edges to make the whole thing narrower. This also helped to add more structure that the belt desperately needed. <laughs> the whole thing was way too thick to pin. So you can see that I simply taped the pieces together on the back. Also, whenever you're sewing, be sure to check that you have enough thread. I ran out of brown thread in the very front of the belt. Luckily, I had some extra rayon thread that I could use to finish, but since it was obviously metallic, I had to go over all my other stitching to keep a consistent look. With all the stitching complete, I added some heavy-duty Velcro to the ends to secure it in place. As soon as I finished sewing, I had to run out and do some errands. While I was out, I found a Dickies belt that I felt matched the costume perfectly. Overall, it's not 100% accurate, but I'm still very happy with how it looks on the rest of the costumes. 